Alright, so now we're going to put the finishing touches on this. We're going to add his top hat. So I'll go to my polygon subobject mode and I'm going to select. Um, I guess it's going to be these two faces here. And I will just do an extrusion up. Actually, cancel that. I'm going to just do it differently. Where I'm going to go to my create tab, create a cylinder. And I'm going to have my cylinder. ideally the, the s shapes and size of the um, hat of the penguin. Uh, the trick is that we can only have it be like five sides without killing our triangle count, so just keep that in mind. Um, Yeah, I'll just try this and convert it to an editable poly. And I'm going to do a bevel. Oops. Um, yeah. Do a bevel. Set my height a little bit and then my outline amount. like so. And if it's not enough girth, I'll make some adjustments. Uh, this isn't going to be exactly like the penguin's hat where it has the little curvature. It's with our, our poly count, it's, it's really difficult to achieve that. I'm not saying it's not possible, I'm just saying it's probably not very realistic for us to get those results. Oops. Go to my top view here. Looks like I need to scale this up a little bit. And you'll see some penetration here, and that's stuff that we're going to work on as far as fixing. Um, the, we're going to have to do some optimizing on the character, um, but that's going to be after I get everything set. Uh, looking at his arms, they look a little too long, so I'm just going to take them to move them back a little bit so that they are not as long. So, and then the other thing is, is that I want to add some more definition to the jacket, so I'll do a connect. And this is actually going to serve two parts. Is it's going to give me the belt of where his pants line, pants are lined up to, uh, but then also it allows me to give him some more volume. like so.
pull this back a little bit. Sort of help with the, the pants. Alright, and looking at the back of the neck here, um, the way that it, it's set is that it's not that it doesn't look correct. I mean, it is correct, but we're, we're wasting pieces that we're probably not going to see because we still need to do the hair. So what I'm going to do here is just go to vertex of object mode, and I'm going to do some target weld. So I'm going to target weld this up here and then the back of the coat to the back of the head like so and I'm just I'm looking to see how this looks yeah that should work so it just wraps around into the back of the head so then I can take these sections here, and I'll do a bevel. Select these faces and delete them. Use my scale tool to straighten them out. Push it like so. And we'll do another bevel. So I'm just going to do an extrusion. Just go to polygon to object mode and pull that back a little further and scale it down. So this it looks ridiculous right now, but it should look pretty good when we texture it. <coughs> Where I just extruded this out a little bit, and now let's just make sure our triangle count is. We're still at 447 or 474, so we're still within our poly count. So my next <laughs> task here is going to be fixing the feet because they look like a disaster. Um, I'm just going to use the bridge tool. Oops. No. Make sure I'm on edge, of course. That helps. I'm using the right tool. And then for the toe there, Alright, 
I'm gonna just redo this. Um, uh, all right. Delete. Delete. Um, I'm just gonna edge. Click on ring. Do a connect for one. Um, by doing the connect for one here, I can adjust the legs a little bit, especially the back of the legs, and even the front. Just a little bit. So that looks better. Now I'll go back to my edge and do my bridge. All right. Uh, that looks looks a little better. It's by no means perfect, but like I said, it's better. Um, I'm still at 484, so I'm still good. Tweak the hair a little bit so it doesn't look so boxy. Alright, that looks good. I really would like to do something with the hand, but it's, it's really not possible at this stage. Um, Looking at the penguin, he does have the suit here, and the suit realistically is going to be painted on. As far as the bow tie, we can paint that on also. Um, it really comes down to your preference. Uh, the monocle, that is something that we're going to have to, to do. And I'm going to just cheat with the monocle. Uh, it's one of the few areas that it's more of an accessory. So I'm going to just use a plane for that so I'll just go to my create tab plane make my segments one by one and like right here should be his eye and I have no idea how to spell monocle right now so that looks good now just placing it in approximately the right location and this here is going to be alphid so we're going to be painting a, a black and white mask basically for this so that we can see the monocle There. All right. So now we have the the ridiculous hatches hanging there too. Um. And we have some penetration going on, so this is where I'm gonna optimize it and get it to to fit on with the character. Um. I save this for the last part in case we can reduce any of the edges. Um, what I mean by that is that if we can optimize any of this, getting some more triangles back, because if we check our triangle count now, I'm sure we're over 500. We're at 522 with the monocle and the hat. So we need to reduce this down to 500. We have to get 22 triangles back. So I'm going to just go and I'm going to collapse the symmetry modifier now so that this takes into 